welcome back to the channel, dude. Today, I'm gonna start off with um, replacing this glass really quick. This is my sandblaster that I picked up from uh, Harbor Freight quite some time ago. You guys seen me use this as sandblast Braven subframe, lower control arms, like all kinds of stuff. And well, this kind of happened. I don't remember exactly how it happened, but I think it was something to do with Braven. Nope, it wasn't me. No, who was it? It was you. No, I don't believe it. I can tell a story. Anyhow, luckily, whenever you buy these, it comes with the glass, and then it comes with this piece of plastic that you can replace it with. Just unfortunately, I use this as an edge whenever I was tape or uh, painting the edges inside of my son's room. <sighs> luckily, that's on top of the plastic, but there is a, a little spot. Whatever, we won't talk about it. It's gonna work, all right? It's gonna work. Yeah, see? Yeah. Not perfect, but whatever. It's better than having a hole. Stop, dude. Does that bug you? Yes. All right, let's get this glass out. You're gonna have to hold the other side. Got it. You came up? Yep. Nice. Got it. Nice. Gotcha. You're not amused by my funniness? <laughs> Good as new, man. Well, kind of. Open the oven up. Plop this guy in there. Yeah. Hey! Quiet on set! Quiet on set! <laughs> Ew, look at this. What have y'all done to it, bro? What have y'all done to this, man? Goodbye. <laughs> Toby's faster than everybody. Good job, Toby! Here we go. All right, Braven's gonna continue doing the sandblasting on the valve cover because it takes forever, bro. I was expecting him to say something. He's not happy because I asked him to do it. Anyhow, I need to get out here and put up the remainder of these lights uh, because I do want to get them, try to get them wired up. I'll show you guys how I'm going to do it right now. Damn. Whatever. Okay, so now one of my goals for today is to get all of this wiring mess like cleaned up. So basically what I'm going to do is go through and I'm going to just be cutting all these plugs off. No tripod life. Bam. Hell yeah. Because what I ended up doing is I picked up this 50 foot. I think it's 50 foot. I don't know why I want to say it's 100 feet. But anyhow, I picked up this really long extension cord and I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this is I'm just gonna cut the plug end off of it and I'm gonna use this just for the wires. So what I'll do is I will, I'll probably cut this off short honestly right here and then run the wire and I'll wire nut this together, tuck it back in behind here and then I'll use this wire and route it nice and clean up to the next light and then connect them and then i'll jump that light to that light and then i'll have a pigtail coming off of that one coming over here running nice and clean and then i'll put all this together with the one coming from that it'll all go together right here and then off of that i'll run it out to where we're going to plug it into our power source and i'll do the same over here on this side so basically i'm going to tie all five of these ones together 
and then I'm gonna tie all five of these ones together. So then it'll end up being just one line going out for these five, one line going out for these five. Ugh. <sighs> Tripod. <laughs> Fuck, I need to get my camera fixed. All right, well, I am almost done with this side. But I'm gonna take a little break because uh, Chris Sadowski is supposed to be coming by the house. He's bringing something for Braven's Integra, um, something that he fabricated. And I think I just heard him pull up, so. Yeah, these plates are hand cut and hand drilled, so I mean, they should line up because I hogged the holes out quite a bit. But so it's just my biggest worry. It's like somebody's chassis might just have a tweaked frame rail just a little bit and that bolt won't sit right. Yeah. Just so 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 gotta try the bumper on. Yeah. God yeah. oh, damn, boy! Well, how you like it? I love it, dude. It's freaking dope. That's freaking sick, man. So yeah, Chris fabricates this kind of stuff, like the bumper bars. Uh, there, he fabricates a lot of shit. I have his Instagram, of course, on the screen right now. Go check it out, but. Um, he has a DA Integra himself, for those of you who don't know, but his is like right-hand drive and K-swapped and all the cool stuff. Um, but he wanted to try this out on another DA than just his, uh, just to, to make sure that it fits, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and he said Braven can have this one, which is super dope. Like, he didn't charge us for it or anything. He just wanted to come over and see how it fits and... Hook the boy up with it. So most certainly go give him a follow on Instagram. Check out all the stuff that he makes. Like Braven literally just had his fenders and his bumper and everything on. We've already taken it off and put it back in the backyard. But yeah. how'd it fit? It fit actually perfect. Like, yeah. It went like right where the molding is on the front bumper and right underneath, uh, right above the turn signals. So like it's stiff. You don't have to run the back. Yeah, this sits. Race, the bumper literally sits right on top of this, and then this is like right in behind where the bumper has the molding that sits right here. So this is tucked way up. So if he ever in the future plans on running an intercooler or anything, it just opens up all that space and gives you so much more room. So no, no. <sighs> it, not if I ever run an intercooler or something. No, when stop zooming, buddy. <laughs> All right, so I got this section all wired up. I just wanted to show you this before I trim it and put some wire nuts on it, but I still have all these other places that I need to get the wires stripped. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you guys, whenever you're dealing with this stranded wire like this, I like to strip it really freaking long like that, whenever you have multiple wires. So you see each one of these, there's five wires. So I'll strip them really long so that you can get them nice and twisted so you know that you know they're all in there really well and then i'll come back and i'll cut it cut it cut it Doink. just like that so then you know all the wires are all even and you don't have to worry about one falling out So using my cell phone for recording, I keep making this stupid mistake where I'll switch from regular video to hyperlapse video, but my phone doesn't tell me like what it's on. It just says record. Like right now it looks completely normal. I, I did check to make sure it's on regular video, but anyhow, the rest of my footage that I have from last night, every single bit of it was all hyperlapse. I'll show you right now. Anyhow, I was explaining how I had finished the lighting. So it starts off here. Uh, we use that extension cord and I have it tied in. And then I drilled holes 
in the wood in areas to try to help keep better control of the wire. I'm, I'm gonna go back, I gotta go to Home Depot and buy a bunch of wire straps and I'm gonna get something to wrap around the wire and actually screw it down so all this is nice and tight. And then all these connections, they actually make these little like um, waterproof boots you can put over this. I gotta get some of those. And then I'm gonna put this up in behind the light and actually screw it down behind the light so you can't see it. <laughs> Would you leave me alone, bro? <laughs> But anyhow, it comes up. This one jumps up to that light. <laughs> bro, my guy, could you leave me fuck alone, bro? So this comes up and it jumps up to this light. And then from this light, it jumps over. And then I have the power for this light and our jump running over to here, connecting to this one. And then down here, it jumps up and connects to all that madness. So everything on this side is all jumped together and it connects to the one. So right there, you can see I've got it running across. That jumps over here and then connects to this side. And I have this side all done basically the same way. So um, everything all ties together and then it comes down and then I have this little portion right here going through the two by four out to the outside. So right here. So then I just have this one cord. You plug this one cord in and it turns on all the lights. And right now I just have my extension cord ran out here. Temporarily, of course, because my future plan is I need to have um, a couple outlets ran out here because you guys know we're going to have to run fans. And then I also need to have a need to have a 220 ran out here um, for whenever I do finally upgrade my compressor. I need to get a much bigger compressor. So um, I am going to have a 220 plug ran out here as well. Luckily, you come out here. My fuse box is right over there, but it's on the other side of the wall. So I'm gonna run those outlets out and then probably just come down the fence and probably end up mounting them like right here. So then I'll be able to just run that plug to right here to my outlet. Also plug in the fans right there and that's where I'm gonna have the 220 mounted as well. So then I'll probably, whenever I do get a bigger compressor, I'll be using my small compressor until you know, obviously I, I build up enough money to actually get a bigger compressor, but I'll I'll build a little like compressor house right there to put it in. That'll be insulated with foam and everything and try to keep the sound down so it's not all super loud. But yeah, there it is, dude. We have now 10 working lights inside of here and it's a lot brighter at night. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, I need to get my damn camera fixed. Um, I keep making dumbass mistakes like that with this freaking using my phone. Uh, I did in the last couple of videos as well. I just worked my way around it But it was a little hard to with this one because literally all the rest of my footage almost was all hyperlapse, dude But now I'm gonna go ahead and play what I had left of it I guess Curly had a bunch of tunes he has to do today So he didn't come over to actually work on his car, but while I'm out there wiring up the booth, man Look at this guy. Look at this guy <laughs> No big deal, right? What? Oh, yeah, you just no. put in your first transmission Oh yeah, he just crazy. is like he's just like casually like oh, I'm gonna throw Curly's transmission in for him because he couldn't make it over today because he has tuning to do so yeah it's no big deal right no big deal yeah it's whatever there's a first for everything right yeah today you put in your first transmission nice anyhow there's one more thing that I wanted to do today but of course we lost sunlight hold up. Who needs natural sunlight whenever you have all these LED lights, bro, right? Anyhow, this is going to be a dope little spot to be able to work on cars, especially at nighttime. Like, not only just for, like, painting and shit, but, yeah, like, at nighttime, whenever I run out of light, to have another area that you can pull a car in and work on it and have plenty of lighting. The win-win, bro, but... Anyhow, another thing that I'm wanting you to do in this video today is I want to tint these windows. But I'm not going to be tinting them a normal way. We're going to do something a little bit different. <laughs> and that is with liquid tint. Yeah, man, we're going to be spray painting the windows black instead of using traditional window tint. But I am only going to be doing this window and this one and then the same on this side. Just these two right here. I'm not going to be doing the rear window 
because I do want to be able to see out of that. And of course, I'm not going to do the doors either. How the hell did that just shut? Yeah, here in Arizona, it's not illegal. Um, you don't have to be able to see out of any of the back windows. You can do anything you want to to them. The only window is that it is illegal to do like limo tent or to completely black them out is the front window. So the two doors and then the front windshield, of course. But um, So that is the plan is I'm going to go ahead and spray paint these black. Am I going to regret it later? Maybe. Who knows? But I will say it would be a mess, but it is reversible. You can get it back off the windows, but uh, I, I don't have any intentions of ever taking it off the windows. So I do have a clean rag and I have some ugh, alcohol. This is what I'm going to use just to clean them really quick. So I'm going to get through that really fast and then we'll start spraying them. All right, so now I got them all wiped down and clean. I'm gonna just get this can shook it up really good. If you can't tell, this is the van, bro. The van is kind of the new beater, bro, like how Max used to be at one time. Um, so, like, it, it's one of those cars that you don't have to worry about it being perfect, and you don't have to worry about scratching it and or putting a dent and stuff like that. Honestly, I recommend having a vehicle like this. Anybody that has a really strong OCD and strives for perfection, um, it, it's really good for your health to have something that you don't have to worry about. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, no, I'm not going to be masking off the trim and all that, trying to make it look perfect. But I am going to try to be careful and not overspray the living shit out of it. But there will more than likely be some overspray. So I got this can nice and shook up. And what I'm going to do is do an introductory coat, like a speckle to kind of let it tack up and then go back with a wet coat. Uh, if you just go straight wet, especially since this is glass, it's just gonna get a bunch of runs. And while uh, it's really not gonna matter, I'm gonna try to avoid from doing that. So. I guess I should do it really quick before because you can most certainly see inside of the van really well. And you guys can clearly tell that you can also see out of the van really well. Oof, man, I'm trying to be quick with these coats, bro, because this spray paint is strong, but look at that. Look at that. Black the fuck out. I went ahead and opened this door up because I have this side basically done. I might do one more coat on it. I don't know. I didn't even start on this side yet because I wanted I wanted to get that side done so I can have another door that I can open up, you know what I mean? Try to air this shit out, bro, but look at that. Clearly on this side, you can see through. You see the doorway over there? You can see through these damn windows, all right? On this side, not a, not a, not a damn thing, bro. Can y'all see through there? I'm zooming. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are yelling at your screen right now. No fucking shit, bro. You spray painted it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, dude now that's freaking tinted you cannot see through there for shit man Whew, fuck. but I gotta get out of here before I get high as fuck there you go now I can only see out the back window <laughs> yep you cannot see in at all anymore so now all I have to do is get these windows tinted I want to tint all these with well I'm gonna I'm gonna limo tint these and then these I'm probably gonna do, or the front window and the rear window, I'm probably gonna do 40%. Yo, any local tent guys, please, please hit me up, man. Uh, sponsor me with some tent, bro. I need some tent on this, and I also need some tent on the sedan. Um, I wanna remove that old purple shit and get some fresh new tint put on that car. I want it to be nice for whoever, you know, ends up winning it. So, speaking of the sedan, the giveaway is live right now. Make sure to go to the link down below, grab yourself some merch, get on my customer list. Um, I haven't released all the details yet, so you guys don't have all the details. I will say the only thing um, is it's for people within the United States only. Nobody 
uh, outside of the United States can win it. Unfortunately, because um, that's just that's just how it's set up right now, man. I'm sorry. Maybe one of these days we'll do a car giveaway to where you guys will be eligible as well. But as of right now, I just I can't afford it, dude. Anyhow, throw it down in the comments if you guys want to see me do a full interior color change on this van. Do it full black interior um, using spray paint. <laughs> Fuck, I feel like I feel like I oversprayed the shit out of my phone. I did. Look how much better that is. There we go. Yeah, anyway, guys, I most certainly don't recommend you doing this to your car, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the like button. Peace out, and don't forget to get on the merch link. Later.